<laughs> Got that bumping going. It could be a pole pad, maybe too. Uh, it's it's semi foil. Foil? foil? Yep, some foil. Well, it's got way better than that. Maybe it's because it's more clumpy. Yep. Well, Kurt's in deep program, full tones, um, minus 6.4 discrimination, but he's in 31 kilohertz. Uh, he's still hitting this one right here, a deep one. Deep, Not deep as target. loud as that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got some chili going on over here. <laughs> Woohoo! Look how crunchy it is now. Let's do it. Yeah, see, just masked, yeah. masked, masked by the soil. This red clay here, it's wet too. Probably a pencil racer. There's just so many of them here. It's just crazy. Yeah, it's probably a pencil racer. These have been doing this to, to me. Um, they sound deep, but they're not. There's just so many of them. It's not, it's going. It's going, huh? Right there, it's going, yep. And the copper penny. Jeremy, what do you do? Hold down on this and uh, then beep it three times? Uh, when it's on, hold it down. And then listen to the tones and on the third tone. Uh, let me let me do it because you'll screw it all up if it's... I'll show you. It's the third setting in the, the tonal menu. I accidentally beeped it while we go. Okay, let me see what you got going on. Might be right. When it's on. Now. Boom, boom, oh, boom. Oh. And then let it set. Now it's set. Oh, okay. There we go. It's I the third it. program. There's gotta be more rings out here. Heck yeah, dude. Uh Kurt just found some jewelry right over here. Some little junk jewelry, yeah. Right here. Oh, a junky tone. Yeah, Try this one, Kurt. Kind of, that's gonna be a break. Double double hit there on something. Sounds good. Hi. High tone. Hi, uh, yeah. 96. Really, 96? Oh boy, these, these woods are really thick here. Oh my lord. It's a quarter. Wow. That was sounding really weird for a quarter. Very weird for a quarter. Go, go ahead and try to hit again there. Yep, just a quarter. Probably on its edge. Yep, just a quarter. Right here. Oh yeah, two of them. Double beeps, two of them. Pencil racer, right there. Just right on the surface. That's why it was giving me the double beeps. Just one, one turret. There's so many pencil racers here, man. Swing over it again there. Sounds good. Oh, it's junk. Something really big there. Oh yeah, right here, right, right here. Sounds kind of junky. Junk. Sounds junky. But I have, it's it's probably gonna be some cancel out here. I have my foil range, my foil window tone um, in full tones here. I have my volume level down a little bit. Uh, 
a freaking plastic twist top deep a deep one this clay here is harsh man red clay here cancel -law. just like I said a little bit of cancel right there So I have my volume level down on my foil range, pretty much from nine to 35 down to eight. So it's not so loud when I get in the really, um, really foily spots, the foil is not so loud. There's gotta be another ring here. Jim found a ring here a few minutes ago. These targets are not deep. Even though they sound deep, the, the, this clay makes the targets sound way deeper than they are. Right. But I'm using my, my shovel because it's just so much easier to, to use my shovel. Um, this clay is harsh to dig in. Coin, nickel. There we go. This oil's soft here today. Crunchy grinding tone. You find one? Oh, beautiful tone right here. Shallow one. Oh boy, it's deeper. Another coin here. It is a coin. Right there. Oh my gosh, look at this coin. Looks like a Roman coin, man, but it's not. Jeremy, is this old or new? That is a new one that, that is uh, for uh, uh, shoulder, um, pads. shoulder pads, yeah. How'd you find a Roman coin, dude? Look at it. Roman coin? Yeah, Roman coin, dude. Look at it. Been Roman around Roman here coin. for years. Yeah, it's been Roman, all right. <laughs> Freaking dissolved, halfway dissolved zinc penny. <laughs> I can't fool the other guys. <laughs> I, have, I have found three Roman coins in my life in the city of Salem here. Oh, I've, I found four of them. Three of them were in a yard in my buddy's yard after we had hunted it for so many years man it was out of metal detecting store too right a metal detecting dealer at his store and um i found one in a curb strip what's that sound like on yours Ooh. oh go go over it again i, I didn't get to hear it that sounds good. Sounds really good. No. Kurt, Kurt found some jewelry a few minutes ago. A little piece of jewelry. Oh, Kurt! Kurt! Oh yeah! Did I find something good? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I don't want to pull it too hard. Oh gosh, man. A necklace! Yep. Let's see if it sticks to your. I don't think it will. No. Yeah, oh, yeah, it does. Clasp does. Yep. The clasp has a little bit of iron on it, but I think this is silver, dude. It does. It says, uh, it's, it might be, it'll say Italy right there on the end of it, on the, um, clasp. Does it say Italy on there? 
most likely says Italy. Most of the time when it says Italy, they're just junk, they're brass. Something's on there. That's it. Found a necklace, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 750. What the hell, dude? It's freaking gold. No. It's, what is 750? It's, it's, 750 is gold, but it's not. The Italy ones, yeah, you, you can tell by how, how it's crunchy like that. It's not gold. All right. Yeah, you can see the brass showing through on the edges, too. A lot of times those Italy ones are junk. Oops. A lot of times they're junk. He found a fake gold one, dude. A fake gold one. 750. Italy. Not funny. A long one. Nice. It says 750 uh, Italy on it. 750 is gold, isn't it? Yeah, but it's Italy. It's not going to be gold. Yeah, you can tell how crunchy the Italy 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 um thing is there. It's yours, dude. It says Italy on that yeah. side. That's funny. <laughs> you can see. It's not gold, but it's neat. Oh, dude, a Batmobile. Oh, that's awesome, dude. It says 750 on one end, on the other end it says Italy. Yeah. Italy sometimes is good gold though and good silver. 99% of the time it's junk though. 750 you said? Yeah. Yeah. You test it, it'll be just brass. What does 750 Italy mean? Check it out, dude. Oh, yeah. According to Zales, when you see a number like 750 stamped on Italian Ten jewelry, this means that the piece is 75% pure gold. Italy refers to the fact that the piece was made for 14 carat. 75% pure gold. Yeah. It'll be brass. Guarantee it. Who found it? You? Kurt did. With the, uh, with the Deus okay. 1. It looks like it's a surface. You want that, Jeremy? Yeah, I'll, I'll keep it. Cool. Well, little security, button. like four of them pulled up and run inside the building. Really? Yeah, that doesn't look like it's ever been in the ground. Put the ring up that, Kurt. I, it was just a low tone, that's all I... Yeah, it was just a low tone, yeah. That one sounds junky, iron. Yeah, foil. It's foil. You can hear my tone my tone uh, clipping out there. That's foil. I have my tone here. my tone volume down lower for my vol where, my where that window. You, you can hear it's just... Oh, my God. Overload, hardcore. It's something good, though. I don't know, dude. Sounds big. Sounds Irony. Could be brass. No, it could be. Yeah, sounds bad. See what it is anyway. Could be a knife or something. Something big, like you said. Yeah. It's a Kurt, cap. Yeah. I'm calling you around tomorrow. <laughs> what the heck? A it's a pop can right on the surface, dude. Oh my, smash pop can right on the surface. We don't find that very often here. Or anywhere. What do you do with your necklace? Is it hard to get back out? I threw it on the ground back there. <laughs> Let me see what mine says it is. Here's one right here. On. Grinding one. On. Yeah, that's gold all day long. Yeah, see, let me see it. Let me see, what, see it again. 15, 16. Is it's it gold? 75%. Oh, never mind. It's not gold. Italy. Well, it was when I first Italy would trick you. Right. Anytime you see Italy on a chain, always be freaking um, think that it's just junk, right? Anytime you see Jeremy on it, too. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really trashy target here. Sounds really junky. Ooh, it's going to be hard to find. The soil is massive. It's right on the surface. Right in the sidewall. Come on, baby, come on. What the hell is that, man? Some iron. Something chunky.
This soil is harsh, so it really masks targets, man. The, the, the deeper targets sound really iron. Very, very. What's that 84 on this thing? Uh, a, a penny? No. Oh. <laughs> nope, something big. Something big, deep. Yep, big and junk. Yep, junk. Junk. There's some deep iron over in this area. Wonder why it's uh wonder why it's taped off right there. Probably caused the guy probably replanted or something. Oh I think it might be a hornet's nest. Oh it could be. Yeah, it might be a hornet's nest over there. I don't think so. What the heck? Why is why is it this tape over here? Um, I smell something. See that big hole? Yeah, I see that big hole up there. That could be rude. But I, I smell something here. It smells kind of weird. Like some chemical. They may have sprayed a chemical on it too. But they usually post. They usually post, post a warning if they spread chemicals there. how noisy it is. The ground is really hot here. You can see the red clay here. See this red clay? Just nasty stuff here. Getting some EMI here all of a sudden. Oh, it's deeper, huh? Yep. Oh, it's dry over here. Oh, it's deep. I think it's going to be bigger than a penny. <laughs> 